I want to talk about toxic masculinity, seeing as that keeps getting brought up again. Look, it, there's nothing toxic about being a man. Well, there is one thing toxic about a man, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. But, you know, it's not just men that are toxic. Women can be toxic as well. Um, I've dated a couple. Toxic as bleach. So, you know, it's not got nothing to do with men. Or, or it, it's just it's just a case of like, there's people in this world that are toxic and that's as simple as that, you know. Um, so again, this is another left-wing nonsense that I just don't understand. You know, as a man or as men, you know, we don't have to be or we don't have to show our feminine side by, you know, walking around with a handbag or a skirt, wearing a skirt or anything like that, you know, and you can't, you know, the media can't put up Harry from One Direction as a prime example of how a modern day man should be. Yeah, let's be fair, right? Also, contrary to what some newspapers believe, us fellas, we don't share flats and houses and that with our pals you know, and walk around naked kissing and hugging each other on a daily basis, you know, and, and you call it a bromance. That's not, that's not what it is, you know. So, you know, this whole notion of toxic masculinity Again, it's just another left-wing nonsense agenda to attack straight white men, you know. It's quite simple for us guys to be, not be feminine, but show a more sensitive side and still be men at the same time. Ultimately, it's called being a gentleman, yeah. Um, so, you know, for example, you can still be a man and go take your kids to the park you know, step up, you know, do things like that, you know, um, cook for your family, for example, you know, let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. Most of the top chefs around the world are men. So it's quite easy to still be sensitive or show your feminine side and still be a man. I don't need to dress up as a woman to show that I've got a sensitive side or a feminine side. You know, the only thing toxic about a man is our inability to share our feelings with the person we love. And ultimately, this is when women come into play. You know, women, when they're, women are down and when women are suffering, you, you, you girls have got your powers and everything else and they gather, they gather, gather around you. You have a talk, you talk it out and, that, and you share your feelings and everything else. G guys tend to not do that so much, not with their guy pals anyway. And ultimately, that's when the woman has to come into play, you know. Uh, and guys, let's let's be fair. If your woman's, if you've if you've been with your girl long enough, you know, and I'm talking a few years and that and everything else, you know, and she truly loves you, she won't mind you sharing. Yeah, she wants you to share her feelings when you're down and everything else and that, because she wants to help you. Yeah, she wants to pick you up. You're a man, but ultimately, yeah, you still have to be a man. And what I mean by that is you need to step up. So she's happy for you to share. She's happy for you to, 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 to break down and let yourself go and show your emotions. But ultimately she wants to see that you're gonna step up and you're gonna sort it. So for instance, if you've got a drug addiction or alcohol addiction, gambling addiction, or if you suffer from depression or something like that, talk to her because she loves you, yeah? And she wants to help you. But ultimately she wants to see that you're gonna do something about it. Yeah, that's what being a man is. Yeah, and it's being a gentleman as well. Um, you know, I don't look as I don't look at people like Harry as a sign of a modern man. You know, um, it's no secret. Let's take for example that most women find people like Tom Hardy attractive. All right now, Tom Tom Hardy is is he's a man's man. All right, fellas love him, women love him. Women want to be with him, men want to be like him. But ultimately, what you see on the screen with him is not what necessarily he's like in real life. We all know that he does a lot for charity. He spends a lot of time, he's a big dog lover. He spends a lot of time around Battersea uh, Dogs Home and stuff like that. He has a sensitive side, and that's what I mean, you know. And this is the problem with fellas. 
you know, it's no secret, and this is a big thing for me as well. It's a personal issue for me. You know, roughly around about 84 men a week commit suicide uh, because of their mental health. And ultimately, it comes down to the fact that we don't share our emotions enough, you know. Uh, and, and that's a sad and tragic story, you know. And as guys, you know, I think... Instead of, you know, especially if you're younger, instead of looking up to people like Harry from One Direction, start paying more attention to people like, um, like Tom Hardy, for example, um, like Dwayne Johnson um, and people like that, you know. Um, they're real men. They're gentlemen, you know, and they stand up and ultimately that's what we need to do also what we need to do as well as men uh, and this is the final part that i'm going to put on this is just like the woman has to be there for you you also have to be there for your woman as well so you know when she's having a bad day you know um you know just be there for her um, you know, simple things. Girls like simple things. Run her a bath, you know. Uh, as I said earlier, cook her some, cook her something to eat. Just ultimately, just show her you're there, you know. Um, she doesn't want you to be feminine, you know. She's got her girls for that. She just wants you to be a man, be a gentleman, and that's it.